Good morning Year 3, it's Miss Callahan here. We hope that you've all had a lovely relaxing week off for the half term holidays and are all ready and excited to start the new term. This is the first literacy lesson on Monday the 22nd of February 2021. Please write the date in your literacy book now along with the learning objective which is to infer feelings. Pause the video to give yourself time to write this in your literacy book now and press play when you're ready for your spag starter. To warm up our brains this morning we're going to be thinking about vowels and consonants. So what are vowels and what are consonants? All words are made up with letters and these can either be categorised as vowels A, E, I, O and U or consonants which are all the other letters in the alphabet. Let's listen to the vowel and consonant song together. I hope you all did some great singing there. That introduced really well what we're going to be doing this week in SPAG. We're going to be looking at vowels and consonants 
and we're going to be looking at when to use a and when to use an. First, we're going to look through these words and spot and circle the vowels. Let's try the first word together. First word is February. F, we know is a consonant. E is one of our vowels, so we will circle E. B is a consonant. R, consonant. U is a vowel. A is a vowel. And R and Y are both consonants. Can you try in your literacy books to do the same with flight and aeroplane? First write the word in your book and then spot and circle the vowels in the word. Pause the video and press play when you've done this. With your blue pen check if you got these correct. In flight you should have circled the I and in aeroplane there were lots of vowels you should have circled A, E, O, A and E. For your choose a challenge you're going to write a sentence and then in the sentence you're going to circle the vowels and underline the consonants. Remember you only need to choose one, you either choose the mild sentence, the spicy sentence or the hot sentence. Once again pause the video while you complete this task and press play when you have finished. Today we're going to be starting a new topic. We're going to be looking at this short film called Taking Flight. And we're going to watch it lots so we're familiar with the story and eventually you're going to write your own part of the story continuing the adventure. Just from looking at the picture, what do you think this story might be about? You can see that there's a young boy and a man. We've got a teddy bear. We've got a truck called the Rapid Flyer. And the title is Taking Flight. Where are they going to take flight to? Let's watch to find out. Tony, I'm sorry, but daddies don't always get to have fun. Maybe Grandpa Nono will take you to the park. He knows how to have fun too. No one only knows how to do grown-up stuff. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? Ah, yeah. Thanks for watching Tony on such short notice. Well, I'm always happy to spend time with my grandson. Okay, so I packed his bag. There's the regular stuff, bottled water, first aid kit, coloring books, snacks, flashcards. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be sunny day, so please make sure he has the sunblock on. Sorry, buddy. We can clean tomorrow, okay? Said that yesterday. Okay, you two be safe, okay? <laughs> All right. You just sit tight. I'll be done with the lawn soon. You know, that wagon used to be your dad's. What say we take it out for a spin, huh? Mm -hmm. Keep arms and legs inside at all times. <laughs> Guess your dad didn't tell you about the escape zoo monkeys. Well, they call 
was a lot of trouble around here. Did you hear that? They must be close. amazing adventures. You will find the link for this video in your literacy pack if you want to go back and watch it again this week. You should watch this every day to help with your literacy task. Today's learning objective is to infer feelings. Let's start by looking at our own feelings. Using the pictures, how do you feel today? Do you feel happy? Are you excited about the new literacy topic and writing your own story? Do you feel tired? You might be feeling a little bit sad? Maybe confused? You might be hot, you might be cold. Hopefully we've got lots of people who are happy and excited. That's how I'm feeling today. Here you will see that there are four different emotions, happy, excited, scared or proud. Which of these emotions might someone be feeling after winning a prize? Have a think. Would they be happy, excited, scared or proud? Could you act out the emotion? Copy in the picture. If I had just won a prize, I think I would be feeling proud. I'll be proud of my achievements. I might have that warm glowy feeling in my chest after I'd done something really good. How about if you were meeting a monster? What emotion do you think you would feel? Again, can you act out this emotion? The monster looks a little bit intimidating. It's got sharp teeth and its fists are clenched. I think if I saw the monster I would feel scared. My teeth would be chattering. 
I will be shaking, nervous. Which emotion would you be feeling if you were playing with friends? This could be happy or excited, couldn't it? I think I would have a nice big grin on my face. I'd be smiling and most likely happy. Finally, if you were having a birthday party, how might you be feeling? I would definitely be excited about the cake. For today's task, we're going to be looking at the feelings that Tony might have been feeling in the video. In your pack, you will find today's task. There are six pictures with scenes from the story. And you're going to tell me how you think Tony was feeling at each point in time. How was Tony feeling in the car on the way to Grandpa's house? How was he feeling when his dad left him? How was he feeling when he was in the wagon learning about the escaped zoo monkeys? How did he feel when he was exploring the jungle with Grandpa? Flying through the sky? And finally, being an astronaut with his dad. In your pack to help you, you will find a feelings map with eight different emotions. Got scared, sad, happy, excited, angry, calm, hopeful and proud. For each feeling you will see that there is a picture of how someone might look if they were feeling that emotion and some synonyms or other words that mean similar. For example if you feel scared you might feel frightened, afraid, petrified, these are all other words that you might use to describe that emotion. For today's mild challenge, in your literacy book, you need to draw and write the emotion that Tony is feeling in each picture. For example, you would write, when Tony's dad left, and then you would write the emotion that he was feeling, so he was probably feeling sad, and draw a picture of the emotion. I've used a sad face, but you're going to draw a much better picture than that. If you are doing the spicy challenge, then you're going to write a sentence explaining how Tony is feeling in each scene. For example, you would write, When Dad left, Tony felt sad, as he didn't want to stay with boring Grandpa. If you are doing the hot challenge, then I want you to try and use some appropriate synonyms to explain how Tony is feeling. For example, instead of just writing, Tony felt sad when Dad left, you might write, Tony sat feeling dejected and wistful after being left with Grandpa. Dejected and wistful are two synonyms that I found off the emotions map and I researched to check that I knew what they meant and that they were appropriate and thought they fit well in my sentence. Dejected means feeling sad and depressed and wistful is a feeling of longing. He's longing for his dad, he wants to spend the day with his dad. Before you start your task, let's try one example together. How does Tony look in the picture? Can you look at his body language and see his expression in his face? You can see from how he's hugging his teddy bear that he might be a little bit sad and upset. From his expression, he's pursing his lips a little bit, so he might be angry. In the video, we saw him kicking the car door, so I think he was feeling a little bit annoyed. So if you are doing the mild challenge, you would write the feeling and draw a picture of the feeling. I have written sad and drawn a picture of someone being sad and angry and used a picture of someone who looks angry.
if you were doing the spicy challenge, then you would put that into a sentence. What was Tony feeling and why? Tony was feeling sad and angry because he didn't want to stay with boring grandpa. You could expand on that sentence by saying he wanted to stay with his dad. And you're also going to draw a picture showing this emotion. If you are in red or orange group or if you're trying the hot challenge, then I want you to try and swap the words for some more interesting synonyms. Using the emotion map, you would look at sad and choose one of the other words. I might choose that he was feeling miserable. And instead of angry, I might say he was annoyed. For example, Tony was feeling miserable and annoyed because he didn't want to stay with boring grandpa. When you have finished describing Tony's feelings in all of the six pictures, I want you to write me a couple of sentences telling me how the character's feelings changed throughout the film. Look back over your feelings chart and answer the key question, how did the character's feelings change? While you're doing this, try to get into character. Imagine you are Tony. How would you be feeling if you were going through the same things that he was experiencing? If you have any questions about your learning, you can email your teachers at year3.hooklow.sheffield.sch.uk and we will try our best to answer you as quickly as possible. Well done Year 3, see you tomorrow to continue with our Taking Flight adventure.